Hi, I'm Mary Bell Jones, and I'm a creative technologist and teaching the Soft Circuits workshop here at Catch. Um, it's a very exciting workshop. It's full of some people who have some experience with working with electronics, but a lot of folks who are completely new to electronics. So what I'm hoping that people take away from this workshop is realizing that electronics are accessible, um, that you can have control and power over your own technology, and you can build um, works of art and also useful products for yourself and for others, and, and uh, really tailor electronics to what it is that you want to do. Is we actually want to wire it so that one neopixel has data from one thing, yeah. one has data from another thing. Yeah. And then it needs to be so different. Yeah. Yeah. this board only does capacitive touch. Uh -huh. We developed the course because right now most people associate technology with hard surfaces and the colors black and gray. But there is a development where people are starting to experiment more and more with soft materials uh, silicone and fabric, uh, which also brings about the possibility to experiment with different colors. I want to I want to expand it and try and do some touch activation. Okay, so this is our prototype. I worked together with Vanessa Cottinger and we made this uh, bracelet that um, that we got very inspired of a mushroom called the uh, lion's name. And um, so this mushroom has uh, uh, some health benefits that it influences on your brain. Uh, it helps you uh, focus better because it is helping your brain cells, the memory brain cells to, to regenerate. And what it does is it senses that when one needs some more focus, it is releasing uh, a scent um, which is made of that mushroom that helps you um, focus better. Well, I found a function where you can use like some speech demos and kind of um, hook that up with the accelerometer and then like by tilting this thing, then I have told it to say different words. And it is not saying no. <laughs> it is a communicative network, a conductive network. I have taped some LED lights on uh, an old tennis skirt and um, I want to use it as a fan. So it's going to be a dance uh, choreographic installation uh, with uh, conductive silicone um, that we are making to look very skin-like. Um, so I just put the conductive fabric here to kind of illustrate that we have this dancer that will be in contact with this material somehow and that would like affect the light. Yeah, so right now it's just blinking. No, it's definitely not the aesthetic that we're going for here, but just like to explain. Maybe it's the other one. This, because we are on the shipyard, so it's the red and the green. Oh yeah, for the... From the ships. Yeah. And actually I have just been around in this uh, building, mm -hmm. and I found on the first floor there is names of the uh, workers who yeah. used to be here. Okay. And I found uh, an electrician yeah. who worked here, and uh, this is his jacket. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the electrician's jacket. Yeah. So I made this little spark, which is, you know, 
somehow in symbiosis with you is the idea, but it's also kind of maybe annoying and kind of requiring attention and stuff. And that's why it has these because it's kind of like grabbing onto you. Do you want to exist uh, to make like a, a light sculpture? Uh, yeah, and when you touch it with your it starts yeah. breathing. The concept is that when you come near or touch it um, on a spot, it starts breathing. Hi there, I'm Vanessa Julia Carpenter. I was part of the Fungi Focus Project and a part of this Catch Summer Camp. I had such a great week and I hope you enjoyed our little video recap. And to find out more, just visit Catch's website at catch.dk. And if you have any questions for me, you can reach me at Kintsugi Design. Thanks so much.